Well, hello, my friends. Super happy to be here with you today. I'm here with my good friend, Bess Swanson. We're going to talk about this amazing event that's coming up on March 24th. And we are here at Salon LV, where we're going to talk about how this space is going to be transformed. And we're going to talk about all things at Rostrum 3, 1, 2. So it's going to be great. So come and join us. My name is Sergio Gomez. I'm an artist, curator, gallery owner, author, and co-founder of the Art Next Level program. And my goal with this channel is to make marketing and art business easy so that you can grow your art career, find new opportunities, sell more art, and spend more time creating in the studio. So if you like that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell so that you receive notifications of our future videos. All right, Ben, so super happy to be here with you. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, uh, having this little walk through this space. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's go through this little I know, isn't it? Cool. This is my favorite wall. <laughs> there we go. Wow. All right, Ben. So I would love to tell our friends here what this upcoming event yep. on March 24th is all about. Yes. So it's a pop-up art gallery. I've been doing these since 2020. Okay. Um, and we started in empty storefronts, and that was sort of the main vision for Rostrum 312 to provide a platform for fellow artists. And that's actually what Rostrum means. It's an antiquated form or it's an antiquated word for platform. Okay. So I just had this vision to provide a platform for other artists. And honestly, like I, as an artist, I wanted to be in shows. So I felt like the only way to do it was to put them on myself. <laughs> exactly. I know before you got there, I know when an artist, you know, thinks I want to find opportunities, yeah. but I'm not going to sit down in the couch, you know, like that and wait for the opportunities. Wait, when I get up, up, make an opportunity for me and for oh. owners. So. Let's continue. I think that is great. I just feel like we is a more powerful statement than me. So I've just been able to link arms and find fellow artists to be able to show together. And it has just taken off. And I'm just thrilled to sort of ride along with it. That's great. Now, you started this event before the pandemic, correct? Uh, in the pandemic. Oh, in the pandemic. Oh, in the middle of it. <laughs> so that must have been also kind of a scary or yeah. difficult or challenging because of the pandemic was all around. I think what's really unique about what we did is it almost made it easier okay. because of the pandemic. And I know that feels like a surprise, mm -hmm. but because everyone was trying to figure out life, right? that you could sort of create new rules. Everything was being rewritten. So it was a lot easier for me to start when everyone else was scrambling to figure out life. Mm -hmm. And our first four shows were masked. Wow. Actually, this might be the first show that we're not, no, this is the second one that we haven't had to have masked. So it feels new and exciting. And I'm just excited to get together with everybody. Very cool. And well, we are now in 2023, yep. the new year post pandemic. And, uh, you know, it feels good to be out. It feels good to be outside mm -hmm. with artists. And this year, you decided to do also something different. You came here to the south side at this beautiful space. Let me do a 360. This beautiful space of our good friends at Salon LV. Look at that. And uh, it's going to be amazing. So tell me why uh, this space. Why we're Salon LV? So I was, I'm really excited to have our show in an official gallery. We've been lucky mm -hmm. to have found empty storefronts. Mm -hmm. And I always say that with our pop-ups, we just need good lighting. Yeah. I don't care what the walls look like. I don't care right. what the floors look like because we're artists and we'll make it beautiful. Mm -hmm. So to be able to exhibit in a legit gallery feels really special, which I'm really excited for for this event. Um, I mean, look at this. The skyline. You get a skyline. It's beautiful out there. It's going to be so amazing. So tell us a little bit about the specifics of the show. How many artists do you have? Yep. 25 artists live music by the Midtown Strings. I'm going to have performance art. Um, there's going to be a dance company oh, wow. okay. and they're going to be performing throughout the space. So kind of like a flash mob, but also like uh -huh. a little more professional than a flash mob. And it's going to be sort of happening all throughout the space that you don't really know that the person next to you is about to bust into a choreographed <laughs> dance. And we'll have bubbly and mocktails and... It's just going to be a really nice and I'm really looking forward to it. A lot of work has gone into it, but like, it's a labor of love. Absolutely. Why don't we see that in those amazing I couches? That. So tell me also a little bit as you, you know, conceptualize the show, mm -hmm. 
and the event, um, what do you want people to experience as right. they walk into the Right. What I love about our events is that it bridges the gap between these like really inaccessible galleries and then it makes it more accessible to normal people. And it's a night out. It's not just for art collectors. We'd love it if you come and buy art. Our artists would love it if you came and bought their art. But it's a night out. It's a glass of champagne. It's live music. It's dance. It's art. It's... We Oh, I forgot to mention. Living mannequin. Oh, really cool. <laughs> so I've got a couple of local fashion designers. And they're bringing their pieces and a couple of models who will be walking around the space and, like, walking art. Oh, wow. That's so cool. So it's just... It, activating all of the senses and i feel like right now 2023 mm -hmm. we are starved right it is the year to get out and do spectacular things and i'm just mm -hmm. super excited to be able to do these exciting and i was interviewing some of the artists who will be in the show and uh you know something that uh conversations that were happening is the idea that also it's a great opportunity for artists who are participating to bring new work if they want to get like immediate feedback from people, mm. you know, because there's going to be a, a big crowd, a lot of people, very similar to what you experience at an art fair, where you can get that immediate, yes. uh, you know, feedback of the work that you're doing. So it's exciting that some of the artists will be bringing brand new work that okay. hasn't been shown. And uh, so it's a great opportunity, I think, it's, for every collector of at all levels, it's so at all true. price points, you know, to find also work that perhaps the artist is just testing out and bringing out. So premiering new work. Yes. And artists, we, sort of like are very insular and we're in our little caves and we're just creating work so being able to get it in front of so many people is mm -hmm. so validating and it's affirming especially to artists to be included like it is such a delight when i come to an artist no matter how seasoned i have had <laughs> seasoned artists and emerging artists just be so overwhelmed with gratitude that they get to participate and i'm the one who's overwhelmed with gratitude <laughs> like, i get to have you at my show so it's just a very it's a very supportive group of artists too which is just so good so absolutely well Beth, you've been so awesome thank you so much for uh you know sharing your vision for the show um i think the partnership between you and the space alone lb is going to be fabulous and I cannot wait to see the event. And I'm super happy because I'm also part of this show. So I'm so glad to have you. Oh my That's God. It's going to be good. Starstruck. So tell us, Beth, where can our friends find out more information about the show, the artists, and uh, also the social media? So you can follow me at Rostrum312, and there's a link to tickets. There's a link to my site. I'm posting a post for each artist um, on my Instagram. I'm putting it out in as many channels as possible. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And please, our friends, do us a big favor. Beth and I will be so delighted if you also share this episode with all your friends. So please make sure to tag us. And then we'll see you on March 24th. At what time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 to 10. <laughs> but wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You will find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.